system when you when you selling that uh, products as a commodity or inputs so what are the stages and the challenges in agricultural marketing system so there are a lot of challenges the selling the agricultural products in the market so we have to identify the or have, we should have some understanding uh, the challenges in the agricultural marketing system and the market led extension or market driven extension and what kind of personality we wants to have and the paradigm shift uh, from production led to market led so how we shift uh, the existing extension system most of the extension system in sri lanka is always considering the productions so but uh, how we shift into production uh, led to market led or market driven this is the outline today so actually uh, the main objectives of this uh, the market led actually we know that uh, we have to identify the need of market led extensions and the role of extension personals in the market led extension the how the extension personals have to behave in the market led what are the changes what are the innovations he should uh, do in the market led uh, agricultural extension system and uh, the differentiate production led and market led we have to uh, we should have some understanding uh, to differentiate so this is the production led and this is the market led what are the difference uh, what are the characteristics like that right production led and market led differentiations right actually uh, you have some understanding about the what the history uh, of agricultural system in even in the sri lanka whatever the country the the agricultural products or whatever the food source services uh, the initiated actually very first is to consumptions or consume uh, by themselves what they do is they produce uh, uh, food so whatever things and they consume after that actually they uh, little linkages uh, with the sharing of that productions right that the barter system is came after that what actually it is uh, actually is is uh, the people uh, they are sharing goods and services uh, what the return they get is also uh, the goods and services that they don't have money the money was not there in the market so at that time the productions they produce uh, what they do is maybe good or service they give to some other persons and they take return also good or services then uh, then what happen is money introduce the very first time actually you you this is uh, i put as for your information the very uh, first time when money is coming to the markets the the equal value to good or service that is why that uh, gold and silver was used the whatever the product you sell the return is uh, taking the equal value the gold or the silver coins right then equal virtual value then uh, the coins and notes came but the value is not equal but the the virtual value is equal then the equal symbolic value is came up to date actually now we are using the money the equal sim- value is symbolic not the actual value the money came to the market then now people are changing symbolic value with their product right uh, after the barter system uh, then commodity traders uh, we know initiated just selling for the village or the village sell uh, village fair or the just distributed uh surrounding their market so commodity trades came after that actually uh, the after actually the beginning of the 20th century uh the farmer has to consider the entire agri business ecosystems farmer have considered all the requirements of entire agri business ecosystem because uh, the in, in basic time what they did is they just produce for their consumption they produce and eat they produce and eat they don't worry about the quality factors and other market requirements the secondly they uh, they commodity trader initiated what they do is they produce and they sell surrounding their uh, villages so the basic uh, area 
after that actually the agribusiness in, uh, initiations they have now farmer have to consider uh, all the requirement in agribusiness ecosystem the farmer what basically they they are doing is they they plants and they harvest they plant and they harvest uh, with the initiation of agribusiness ecosystems now they can't just plant and harvest they have to consider requirements of the processes what are the requirements of the uh, the outputs uh, uh, for the processing purpose the quality required to the transportation system without damaging how we uh, transport and same time packagings and uh, the harvest and the post harvest losses those all they have to consider now and the requirements of the retail market the consumer requirements what the consumers are asking the quality whatever thing we will discuss in coming slides so the requirements in the retail markets maybe an end user and consumer also the customer and the waste maybe agricultural waste and what all, all other waste factors and return to the agricultural uh, lands so uh, with initiations of agribusiness ecosystems now farmer have to consider all the uh, segments all the uh, sub parts of the value chain so therefore uh, the requirements or neediness of the agricultural extension also now valuable because that agricultural uh, market led people or extension people now they have to communicate correct uh, informations to the uh, farmer regarding the productions regarding the processing and about distributions and their post harvest qualities and the, what the required uh, the requirements of the consumer and customer and what the, what we have to do uh, to the waste arising after the production so uh, the, the the extension system or the market extension system have to now consider all the uh, the segments in the value chain so therefore uh, the initiation of the agribusiness ecosystem uh, has given good value to the market led extension right i think you got that points uh, the second thing is uh, second thing is the perspective of the manufacturer perspective of the manufacturer this mean uh, the majority of the production is going for uh, processing or some other uh, we consider as some inputs or some uh, manufacturing maybe food so value addition or export or whatever things so what manufacturer is always required uh, uh, the requirement is the low prices for the inputs and the same time the high quality of the inputs or productions the manufacturer always uh, asking the low prices as well as high quality so to face this challenge the the extension personalities extension body have to play huge role huge role this is the basics of uh, of uh, the market led extension and and then how it initiated with the requirements of the agribusiness ecosystem so thing is this, uh, the second third factor is the actually uh, manufacturing after the manufacturing uh the the selling of the products is also we know is a brand marketing the, the manufacturer or producer they are considering about their market right the brand marketing when uh, the uh, when manufacturer when talking about the brand marketing the farmer also have to consider the following factors also right nutritional quality of the agricultural goods agricultural uh, maybe vegetable whatever the things nutritional quality at same time ornamental quality it should be a it should be beauty it should it should be attracted by the consumer or the buyer right ornamental quality as well as a nutritional quality we have to uh, that quality we have to supply and the same time the taste taste you know what the taste is and the texture texture that uh, how it should be With the texture and the shapes, shapes. Now the market has created the this kind of shapes uh, should be there. It should be de deforms products. They are not buying. 
and the shape uh, now is one of the main factors of the agricultural output so farmer have to consider uh, the shapes of the products also and the uh, nutritional value nutritional quality as well as nutritional value and the certificates it may be a good agricultural practice organic so what a lot of certificates are there so certificates uh, we have to uh, the farmer have to consider there are hundreds of uh, things i think uh, uh, farmer have to consider i just take few of them and the just in time principle so we know the lot of uh, manufacturers now they are not maintaining huge uh, warehouses to store the agricultural products the farmer have to uh, transport in the at the time of uh, manufacturing just uh, just in time principle so the seasonality effect uh, whatever the other other uh, factor effect to the productions somehow farmer have to avoid and uh, he should uh, fulfill the requirements of the manufacturer or market so therefore the role of the the extension personality is highly uh, valuable at this time because that the they they can advise on nutritional quality ornamental quality taste textures and the requirements of the shapes and the nutritional value what are the certificates and the, how we avoid the seasonal effects and the uh, the 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 management must apply like, uh, just in time so we have to uh, fulfill this requirement so the brand marketing it is the manufacturer requirements so that requirements also have to fulfill by the by the farmer so therefore the the current farmer is not just farmer is uh, actually uh, the kind of the big manager i think is not like a just farmer when you look at the sri lankan um, agricultural system uh, so while we are fulfilling these requirements but they have to face huge uh, challenges the numbers of challenges are now facing sri lankan agriculture uh, agriculture system actually climate and topography actually uh, the, we know sri lanka is uh, highly affected by uh, climate change in fact sri lanka is a hot spots the un uh, climate uh, forum they have mentioned also sri lanka is one of the uh, uh hot spot in climate change impacts and topography is actually also uh, affecting like uh, the hilly agricultural area like no really valley mud like area that's topography impact is also there not much actually in sri lanka but up to some level is there and the operating technologies the the, the technology uh, required in operating level is is really lack in sri lanka the technology is there sometime that technology is not uh, correctly diffused to the farmers or oh, even uh, the the cost for technology is sometime very high so therefore the lack of operating technology is uh, one of big challenge uh, in uh, agricultural system in sri lanka in the paddy is up to some level the present technology is there but all other crops like uh, uh, tea uh, cinnamon and other plantations also uh, the maize like things they are there is no enough operating uh, technology but paddy is up to some level okay and the rural infrastructures this is also one challenge we are facing the when you look at the farming area and the farming society the rural infrastructures still are not in good conditions actually the transport systems and the storage facilities uh, grading facilities uh, market informations communications uh, and other power uh, the it uh, the infrastructure likes things still are very very poor this is one of uh, big challenge we are facing the rural infrastructure level in the farming community and the extension services extension services of the sri lankan agricultural system is still not strength or still not actually enough the reason is the the, the major or big amount so i think big parts of the extension is covered by the central government 
as well as the regional uh, controlling bodies. But the, the authority is still uh, actually is with the government's uh, headed, so public headed extension system is there. The private extension is there in Sri Lanka, but uh, the, the level of contribution is not enough. Uh, the main role is played by the government. So that, uh, that role is actually uh, not up to the expected level to the face this challenge. Even the strengths are not enough uh, to the face the challenges. Another thing is uh, the financing difficulties are there in the agricultural systems because most of banking system, they are not believe uh, the agriculture or they are not willing to give uh, enough amount of money uh, for the uh, agricultural investment. So it's so very difficult to farmers to take uh, money from the banking or other uh, financial institutes. They don't have confidence on agriculture and the facilities are very, very limited. So the investments, so investments going in agricultural uh, sects are also very less due to this uh, uh, financing problems. And uh, uh, the period uh, uh, leniency, actually this is not much available in Sri Lanka. This is the Caribbean, I, I just, just take this as a, one of big challenges for the Caribbeans. Right, there are a lot of the theft are there. In Sri Lankan situation, actually, big challenge is uh, wild, uh, wild animals, elephants and others. Wild animal damage is huge on a big challenge. In Sri Lankan agricultural system, right? And the land tenure system is also one of uh, big challenge we are facing because uh, the degradations of the lands uh, for the agriculture is uh, one of main re, uh, problem the the small holding sector is gradually expanding every year so the the people who are cultivating uh, less than half an acre or uh, 30 purchase like uh, land system uh, land amounts is becoming uh, higher and higher every year that degradation is happening it's the uh, the the land area cultivated by a single farmer is becoming uh, actually is, is reducing so this is one of challenge even south asia the the small farms uh, numbers of small farmers are uh, rising rising so therefore we can't take uh, blanket decisions it is uh, we have to individually consider that small farmer so therefore Decision making is uh, decision making is little difficult uh, with uh, small holding sector, and the environmental issue is rising. Uh, water pollution, some other uh, health issues, and the land degradations, uh, soil degradation, soil erosion, like issues are uh, uh, continually uh, rising in Sri Lanka. So therefore, uh, these are the few challenges, and also. And also the labor availability, the labor availability for agriculture is now is a big factor because the amount we pay for the labor in agriculture is, uh, when, when we consider the manufacturing and service uh, sector, uh, the, the payments for labor is for comparatively low. And this, uh, the available labor in the agricultural area also shifted to the urban area and for, for the manufacturing and service sector. So the availability of the labor, actually it is reducing. So the, but uh, if the, when the time, uh, the labor is going down, we have to invest on the technology for the replace the labor, but it is not happening in Sri Lanka. The technology replacements uh, for the labor not happening in Sri Lanka. So therefore uh, the, the labor is becoming one of uh, a big problem or big challenges in Sri Lanka and patch. Mm -hmm. And also aging of farming populations uh, is one of uh, big challenge. Actually the, the young youth is, youth participation for agriculture is becoming, uh, actually it is going down. They are not interested to, uh, to join with agriculture. Also there is no such program in Sri Lanka to 
attract youth to the agriculture. So therefore, the uh, the aging populations, uh, aging farming population, as well as the youth attractions to the agriculture, is now becoming uh, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, right? And the uh, the food safety issue also currently we are facing due to the some policy. Problem same time the food safety uh, for rice due to some the problem we are facing to access the regional and international markets. So <clears throat> we know what the food safety is. Uh, food safety mean there are two way two ways to fulfill the food safety. One is we produce the amount we needs, and uh, the second thing is we import the balance amount we needs. Right. The first, we, we have to produce the requirements level. Uh, is there any gaps? We can uh, we can import from region or no, international market. So now we are facing some uh, little difficulties uh, due to some uh, 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 due to COVIDs and the productions and some limitations. We we even can't access to the region and international markets for foods and the prices also we have. Uh, skyrocketing the food prices in the world market. So the access to regional and interest market also now challenge. You now people are people I people in the Sri Lanka now they are talking about if there are any food safety issue they can import. But actually the problem is uh, we can't import because the, those countries they also facing some difficulties in productions and they are not uh, willing to uh, sell their products because they also worried about the food safety of their country. And the natural disasters, one challenge, we know the floods and droughts are uh, frequently we are facing in Sri Lankan agricultural uh, system. So natural disaster also uh, one challenge. So so the, the agribusiness ecosystem, they are, uh, they are asking farmer to produce good products for and uh, and they, they they tell to farmers to consider about the processing transportation retail and wastage and the manufacturer asking uh, uh, product high quality with low price and the same time they asking to nutritional ornamental taste shapes and certification just in time but the farmers are facing huge numbers of challenges in sri lanka climate technology infrastructure extension services access to finance, uh, lands and environmental issue, labor issue, and uh, the food safety and natural disaster. So therefore, the, how, we, how we fulfill these gaps, farmers are pay, uh, facing numbers of challenges, they are facing. Uh, the market also asking numbers of uh, actually conditions. So the farmer are facing huge difficulties uh, to fill this gap. So the role of the extension is becoming becoming uh, important and important actually it's becoming more uh, valuable and valuable with the times the reason is there are a lot of challenges in the market same time a lot of conditions in the market a lot of challenges in the environment and the ecosystem and a lot of conditions so the, the they are asking for product so this gap have to fill by the extension system of the country the gap the gap filling agent is uh, extension agent. So he should be a market-led extension personality face these challenges in the uh, agricultural production system as well as the marketing system. So, so therefore, uh, the personality who engage in uh, agricultural marketing also is facing these kind of uh, challenges. These are the few challenges. There are a lot of challenges, but I put a few of them. So in marketing system, these challenges are there. One is, uh, the main thing is, agricultural market is, every day it is growing. Every day actually it is, it is growing. It's growing. This is a main challenge. So the, the requirements for this year is 0.5%, uh, 1% is growing next year. Because with the, population increase the market is actually uh, becoming large is continually expanding so the so the, the available of the land is not actually uh, increasing the availability of the input is 
not increasing sometimes it is uh, limiting and other services are limited level the productivity is not uh, increasing up to expected levels but the farmers have to put, somehow fulfill the uh, requirements of the expanding market this is a this is a one of uh, uh, main challenge right the second thing is uh, trading system the selling system is uh, uh, the sales of the all the outputs of the farmers are uh, dominated by the private trading system so 90 percent of the actually in sri lanka more than 90 percent uh, of the agricultural outputs are traded by private sector so this uh, actually it's a, it's a challenge right and it's a direct marketing uh, systems in sri lanka is actually negligible it's not available actually uh, the farmer farmers are not much interest uh, to directly link with the consumers even though they are they are not much uh, tech savvy they are not much actually interest to go for next level in the supply chains what they want to do is this uh, they they just produce and sell to the village collector and go home so but the but if uh, but if farmer want uh, correct margins so higher margins so we should develop the direct uh, marketing maybe a uh, online purchasing uh, online purchasing app uh, cash on delivery whatever things uh, 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 we should develop so direct marketing in sri lanka is uh, is negligible so this is not actually available farmers are not much interest to uh, engage in this kind of thing so they are not uh, actually knowledgeable enough to uh, face this challenge right direct marketing is a uh, one challenge and the inefficient trade facilities for rural levels so we know farmer the facilities available in rural level for the agricultural products is it's not enough not enough so therefore the the, the in the in the next next uh, point is actually the related to the uh, inefficient trading facilities that's mean that post harvest losses is around 40 to 50 percent in sri lanka for some crops so especially the leafy or other vegetables the post harvest losses star compared to very it's a, it's a huge amount right the correct technologies are not there people are not aware about the required technology uh, to uplift the, the quality or quantity or the transport or post harvest damages like this so, so the that uh, facility should be uh, updated these these are few challenges right few challenges and also some other uh, challenges like so the risks available in agricultural market what are the risks maybe the climate change uh, transportation uh, pest and uh, disease attacks uh, price fluctuations uh, like things as bricks bearing uh, how we bear it right and the storage of farm produce actually uh, the the grains and other seeds productions we can uh, storage in the normal room conditions but other product uh, like uh, vegetables leafies like things actually cold room facilities and the correct storage facilities are not available so the things the problem is the time they produce they have to sell uh, within uh, one and two days otherwise otherwise the, the entire production uh, will be destroyed uh, with the time so the storage facilities are uh, not much available within the farming area and the grading facilities grading facilities so <clears throat> the grading is uh, one of the main requirements for the market as well as the uh, different uh, price packaging we can do with the grading but the farmers are not available um, with uh, grading facilities so they are for entire bulk productions they have to sell with the equal price your unique price for the good products bad products default products whatever the all the things are they are selling in in one grade so they are for the, the correct margin correct advantage can't get by the farmers right absence of grade and standards grading and the second thing is grade and standards 
the farmers are just their producers. They don't uh, actually aware about the standardization and standards. What are the standards needs for this kind of products? Actually, they are just they produce raw material and send to the economic centers. And the, they should uh, <coughs> should know about the processing requirement and the, the quality difference. They much not uh, uh, aware actually. The, all the things they produce, uh, they sell as bulk. They don't much worried actually. Sometimes they don't know the quality difference. And the lack of ICT, uh, the, the technology, information, communication, ICT, your internet technology, IoT, Internet of things are not much available for decision making of the farmers, right? ICT and the market in intelligence. This is a one of big problem uh, actually from these points when we consider the, the farmer should know about uh, the what kind of products are taking higher uh, prices in coming one or two, three months. What are the products the price will going down? Why these products are uh, prices are rising, right? This market uh, intelligence or market informations, right, should be there. Should should be with the farmers. But this uh, this is a one of uh, main challenge in Sri Lankan farming community. They don't have that intelligence. That informations are not going to them. What they do is uh, if they take correct price in this uh, this season, the next season. Also, they will go with the same crops uh, without having market intelligence. So what happened is the, 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 after uh, that all the farmers going for same crops, the production surplus are there. So what happened is price will be drastically dropped down. So this is happening uh, every year, every season in Sri Lanka. That is why we are always talking about the price fluctuating, price fluctuating, but we can avoid the this price fluctuating impact uh, if we have the correct uh, market intelligence of agricultural productions. The, the, the next thing is financing we discuss uh, the, the how, why this financial institute are uh, not like to give money for the farmer. And the other facilitating, uh, facilitating functions like other services, other value-added services, the uh, communication like all the facilitation services functions are also not much available in the agricultural uh, system financial lagging perception and the and the gignetic size actually uh, uh, gignetic size so mechanism of the public extension system uh, gignetic means that the entire extension system is controlled by the department of agriculture so uh, is uh, it's a very big to control, so so the effectiveness is uh, not enough, and the extensions uh, harder development. So extension personality, the people who engage in the agricultural extensions, we have to develop them for the market led extension. But the thing is, but what happened is, it is not happening. They are not developing to next level for how to face the market requirements. What they do is this, just they advise for the productions. And they come back home, so the farmer have to face rest of the problem without having marketing uh, channels or so transportations, uh, storages, uh, prices, and all the problem have to face by the uh, the individual farm. So these are the challenges uh, uh, available in agricultural marketing system. This this these challenges are available. So to be uh, face this challenge, to face this challenge, what uh, what is the role of market-led extension? What is the role? This is the thing we have to identify. We have to take correct understand the role of market-led extension to face this challenge. We we go through numbers of challenge, right? Size and trades and direct marketing uh, facilities, post analysis, uh, storage, grading. Right, standard processing, uh, market intelligence, finance. These are the challenges. These are the challenges. To face this challenge, uh, how the role of market led extension, uh, what's the role have to play? This is the uh, thing we have to take correct understanding. Right, 
first thing is uh, uh, the the extension personality market led extension personality should do the sort of analysis about the market so what is the strength of this product category or product right what are the weaknesses uh, available in these products and what are the opportunities and what are the threats so this sort of analysis uh, about the individual product markets is given the broad understanding uh, to the extension officer what kind of uh, approaches they should do what the amount they should produce what the quantity they should send to the market the, what is the required uh, quality of the production levels so what are the required uh, nutrition and quality or uh, shapes for the processors so this analysis should be there with uh, the market led extension is right she should we should have broad understanding about the market if the if if extension personnel without having understanding about market he can't do market led extensions so how he do market led market led extension without knowing or without having understanding about the market so therefore he should have a huge understanding about the 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 requirements of the market so we should train them how to understand how to analyze the market how to understand the market and uh, the, we should train them and uh, should develop the correct uh, channels to take the uh, suitable informations to analyze the market so this is the uh, basic thing okay extension person who who are doing who is doing uh, market led ex market led extension should have broad understanding about the market then what we have to do is the creating interest groups the market led extension is what we have to do is there are a lot of interest groups are there for this kind of things so we have to organize them right into the interest one group so maybe a selling community transport community a value added community like organic farming community like that that uh, interest groups are there so that groups have to manage form as well as the manage supporting and enhancing the capacity of locally established group actually up to now there are some some groups are there already developed so that uh, the extension personnel who are doing market led extensions have to support for those uh, groups already have established and uh, and also have to enhance their capacities to face the challenge right and the enhancing interactive and communication skills because uh, the farmers so there are a lot of farmers these days also we also are receiving some informations there are of people who are engaged in organic uh, farming but the correct informations are not uh, there is no uh, channels to sense uh, the suitable information or correct informations to them so they also don't know from where they should uh, collect those required information so developing uh, communication channels as well as the communication skill of those uh, interest people is one of role of market led extensions and uh, establishing marketing and agro processing linkages if this personnel who are doing agricultural extension would be market led he should develop uh, the marketing channels so how to sell very easily with the correct margins and also the develop the linkages uh, between farmers and processors right developing uh, linkages between farmers and processors agro processing linkages right agro processing linkages and market development and the advice on product planning advice on product planning because up to now most of farmers uh, how they uh, decide next crop is based on the price of prices who Uh, who take in the current season if he take good uh, price in this season next season also he will go for the the same crops so this is a reason to, uh, to fluctuate the prices in the vegetable market or whatever the agricultural product but the extension personality is responsible for advice on product planning how to select the product for next season or this season or this uh, this corn or what's the amount they have to uh, they are going to cultivate and also <clears throat> the the what's the qualities what are the quantities what are the any other market requirements so these advices should be given uh, 
uh, by the extensionists. And the educated farming community actually it is the basic things. And the direct marketing that the personality have to uh, promote it, uh, to go for IT solutions, go for social media and go for any other communication platforms, websites uh, uh, to, to link uh, consumer to producer, uh, farmer to uh, consumer. So uh, that uh, intermediary steps, how to reduce numbers of steps available in between farmer and consumer. So direct marketing or direct selling uh, is one of good way to link, to create a link between consumer, uh, consumer with the producer or consumer with the farmer. Also the capacity building. So capacity building means that the, the, the current majority of farmers, they are not capacity enough to use this kind of technology. So they, they need uh, uh, continuous training programs to for capacity building related to the marketing, related to the selling, related to social media uh, branding, um, related to the quality development, related to value additions, uh, related to export like things. So this capacity building is uh, highly needed for the uh, farmer these days and also the, the personality who are doing market led extension uh, have to consider the, the person who should have big understand about market he should develop interest group he should support the groups already already established and they develop communication skills and he should develop the linkages between uh, producer and processors and the advice to product planning, educate in the farming community, and uh, uh, and he should plan to reduce intermediary step in the supply chains or, or the link creating link between uh, farmer and the consumer. At the same time, the capacity building. So we have to develop farmer into next levels, uh, not just a farmer who is also exporter. Uh, as example, as exporter, right? For uh, to do these, uh, to this uh, uh, activity or to fulfill this requirement, uh, he should have, he should have uh, these information. Actual extension as well as the farmer should have uh, uh, these informations to take this decision and take these uh, actions in the field. Right, the present agricultural scenario and land use patterns, as example, I'm selling uh, the extension personality who should have understand what is the agricultural scenario uh, currently we are facing in Sri Lanka today. We know the all the uh, the synthetic inputs already have stops. The thing is now the the the, the current scenario is organic. Current scenario is the organic. So therefore, the, the extension personnels who should have a big understanding about the what is organic, how we develop, uh, then how we what are the challenges, uh, how, like those uh, <clears throat> they should have an understanding about the current scenario, the present agricultural scenario, and the land use pattern, right? Land use patterns. So what uh, the, what extent of uh, farmers who are doing uh, paddy. What is the extent of uh, farmer who are doing uh, this vegetable and that that fruits that land use pattern they should have understand then they can predict the the quantity uh, which is coming to the market so the then then they have some understanding about the prices so the land use patterns and the agricultural uh, the, the scenarios and the current trends uh, the farmer also extension officer should have understand and the suitability of the land holding for the various crops and enterprises. So the we the market led extension, we are we are going to develop some enterprises, some value added to the we are we are trying to give some value additions to the farmer. So therefore the, the extension is should have some understanding about the suitability of this land for this crop is, is it suitable or not. So, so various crops and the development of this kind of enterprise in this area is suitable or not suitable or not that understanding should be should be there otherwise uh, the, he can't advise uh, to the farmer to go for next level and crops in demand in near future what kind of crops will take higher prices 
uh, in near future in the market. So crops demand, so the demand variation with the times we know, uh, with the different seasons in the festival season, these, these uh, agricultural products will have a higher demand. In this season, uh, some agricultural products have a uh, comparatively less demand, so therefore price will be uh, going down. So therefore the, the extension is as well as farmers would have understanding about the different crops having a good demand in the near future market fluctuation and the market prices of the crops, right? so the, the, how the price are varied throughout the year and uh, how it uh, change in you know, how it uh, uh, impacts on the market, right? Availability of the input. So the, the before go for agricultural, we know we discuss in the uh, three steps in uh, pre-production, production and post-production in the digital extension. So they are, we, we should, we should know the as a farmer as extension officers the availability of the inputs that these days actually farmers are farmers are in the pre-productions uh, stage they are they are preparing lands and uh, supplying waters and arranging everything but uh, but the availability of fertilizer and other inputs uh, pesticide fungicides are not uh, available in the market so but the thing is, they will face huge problems. Uh, somehow, uh, the the inputs may be organic or maybe inorganic. If, it is, uh, the, the, if, it, if these inputs are not available in the market in the correct time, uh, the farmers will be, farmers, they have to face huge uh, challenges, right? So therefore, before go for the, uh, the farming, they should know about the inputs availability. And the usages of input, how to use this input, uh, the inputs, maybe uh, synthetic, maybe organic, they should have understand how to use this, right? How to use this, even, even uh, the now that uh, nano fertilizer, uh, nano urea have come to the markets, but the, uh, the people, they don't know about how to use this. Uh, is it work or not? So this is a uh, challenge just now that uh, that education, that information have to transport uh, transport to the farmer as soon as possible. Otherwise, uh, that entire money will be uh, lost uh, without having correct results. And the credit facilities, actually, <clears throat> this is for uh, some commercial level uh, farmings. So if we if we go for these 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 crops, uh, the what are the facilities available in the banking system, what are the other uh, financial facilities available or is it available or not, right? Those information uh, should should be there. The farmer should know, extension officer should know, right? These are the required informations. And the desired qualities of the products by the consumer. What consumers are asking about the product. So the, some, some consumers are asking about the, uh, the appearance, some people are asking about the nutritional value some, some consumers are worried about the shapes because the, we have different type of consumer the end user maybe value added a processor direct exporter uh, con direct consumer like that different customers are there so this uh, what are the desired quality it's depend on the customer but we should know about what are the different uh, uh, quality requirements and the market networks of the local area and the price differences. This information should be there with farmers. What are the selling channels? This and this supermarket channel, this, this, uh, these are the channels in supermarket. These are the channel in local sellings. These are the channels of uh, yeah. direct export. These are the channel of uh, direct marketing. These are the channels of uh, value additions. These are the channels of processors like this information should be there so that, uh, and also price differences. Then then farmers can decide uh, which channels uh, they should supply their output. So uh, the thing is in Sri Lanka, it is not that informations are not available. Farmer, what they do is they, they produce, they produce and they just uh, enter to the traditional market network without even considering the prices so the informations unavailability for the farmers as extension officers is one of uh, big challenge 
right big uh, big drawbacks to develop the agricultural system also uh, the network of storage facilities storage facilities networks actually the farmer should know if they have surplus productions in their farmland they should know where to send for storage at least one or two weeks we are to uh, we are to send we are to storage what are the charges of those storages is the capacities are available right this information should be available and the transport facilities transport facilities so after the production the farmer cannot uh, search the transport facility uh, available then uh, the, the, the this information should be there so after the product they should know where to transport where the transport facility is available and just contact and send it so this information should be there to face uh, face these challenges as well as to roll this uh, play this role in the market right this information is required but in sri lankan uh, assist uh, sri lankan agricultural <laughs> co uh, system actually this information is uh, not freely available or sometimes this information is not available they are for the farmers that is why farmers are facing uh, uh, huge difficulties in selling their product in some some season at the time of product come to the markets they don't know where to sell what are the market channel what are the prices what they do is they just give to the uh, village collectors and go back home with they all, always they are they are taking low price margin low prices uh, from the vegetable market the correct the correct the correct share from the consumer is not uh, given to the farmer this is due to uh, the lack of correct information to the farm so another thing is another thing is one of this is one of uh, one of uh, the challenge actually this is uh, critical linkages right critical linkages uh, of the agricultural ecosystem or agricultural extension system these linkages actually they should play a uh, suitable role Uh, to uh, give a correct uh, support to the farm imagine as example sri lanka today i will i will, I will take that uh, sri lankan scenario the sri lankan current scenario how that critical linkages are impacts to the farmers now the current government has take the policy to go for uh, completely organic uh, or 100% organic country Or organic Sri Lanka or, or green economy. This is the policy. So when the when is taken this policy, the people are talking about this decision has taken by individually without having correct understanding or without the analyzing the market is possible or not. So the doubt is there with the uh, with the possibility of the policy. Some people are telling this policy is good, so we should do this. Uh, some other people are. are telling this the, this policy is good but we need time some other category is telling this policy is good but it is not practical right these are some uh, some uh, uh, ideas rising about the policy so policy is there then the support services support services maybe a extension system information systems and uh, media and other all there are a lot of support and system finance and system the support systems are not willing to support for this policy right sometime uh, the these days a lot of uh, organic producers organic fertilizer producers they they are willing to produce compost but they don't have money so after they go to the banks uh, to ask in loan or capital for the developments the banking system is not ready to give money uh to the uh, to the investor for the compost or liquid fertilizer whatever thing right banking system is not there right that the because of that the policy is uh, the policy will not be implemented so people are trying but money is a problem then the extension and uh, advisory system in the country they are not capable enough uh, up to now uh, to face this challenge so they are asking some uh, time to a gradual take up system so they are telling they are not uh, capable enough to 
face this kind of huge challenge so they are asking time to 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 do this so what they are telling is they are telling they need time so within one night they can't change so extension system is also not satisfied to their their, their capacity is not enough so they are asking uh, some uh, sometimes right and the media and other information systems they are they are highly promoting they are highly promoting uh, the this concept what happened is the media is promoting it and the banking system is not giving money extension system is telling they are uh, they are not capable so they have the policy is there the one critical linkage policy is there but it is uh, implementing the field is uh, it's not happening it's not happening is due to the the other basic support service linkage is not they are with the not they are with the policy not they are with the policy the third uh, uh, thing is producers and their organizations producers and their organization actually uh, 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 the farmers and the farm organizations and other those who are directly uh, engaging in the productions right they don't have uh, understanding about this policy what is so many do we can face this challenge right we can face this challenge they don't know face or not they don't know so they have producers are uh, in intermediary they can do or not they don't know even right their organizations also the what the experience they have is the going with 100% going with the chemical so the policy is they are support service uh, are uh, 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 is supporting and not correctly supporting producers uh, are facing huge uh, challenge they don't have information they don't have knowledge they don't have experience the, but the policy is telling within one night change so therefore that link then linkages is also uh, not aligned with the policy support services some support services are aligned with the policy some producers are aligned but majority of are not aligned due to not having information not having confidence uh, the, they don't like to sometime take a risk the, without time take off plan like these things right the producers are not aligned with the with the policy the the third linkages also not having the uh, align with the policy and the market opportunities market opportunities so what are the markets for this uh, organic product so we have to think right what are the cost of productions when when we look at the market so we, even previously we discussed what the consumers are asking uh, the best quality products for lowest price best quality products for lowest price this is the uh, universal truth of the consumer what they are talking is uh, what they are asking is best quality products for uh lowest price yes. right give me one second right uh, best quality products for uh, lowest price so the is our market is uh, capable with to purchase such kind of higher prices uh, for the organic product so the market is market opportunities are there but the the market is not ready to face this challenge so so therefore the knowledge support services actually will come on next slides uh, this the knowledge support services are there but the policy is there policy is for organic and the support services are uh, some are supporting some are not capable enough some are not uh, like and the producers uh, they don't have knowledge and they don't have understand they don't have confidence and markets is also there therefore this critical linkages are not tally with the uh, the current uh, market scenario therefore it's the uh, Uh, therefore the implementation it's 100% actually it is uh, not happening not happening so therefore we have to balance this critical linkage whatever the area who are going to implement uh, 
uh, the policy all the linkages should be in one platform and should be balanced otherwise entire system will be fail now this is the experience now we are facing policy will be failed within the, within 2 3 months it is due to producer market and support services and knowledge support services if this if this all uh, linkages can play a unit role with the single understanding they can win but the scenario is uh, they are going for different directions uh, due to uh, due to some reasonable uh, reasons right linkages of knowledge and information system actually uh, this is uh, just i put i want to uh, i want to share with is the aks actually agricultural knowledge support system this is agricultural knowledge support services the that's mean actually the link in agricultural development system credit supply and marketing into uh, one scenario this linkages aks system should be implement if we want to success uh, success the organic uh, challenge right we want to success the organic challenge this critical uh, this critical linkages should be in one platform otherwise uh, otherwise it fails so <clears throat> just i want to share this aks system should be there credit system should be ready to give money to the farmer or producer for organic compost or liquid fertilizer all other suppliers should be ready right all other suppliers should be ready to give all the inputs and the other the required information to them and the market the marketing channel should be ready to sell their product with the correct price to, uh, to that capable to purchase for the sri lankan co co consumer or to the exports to the international market so the marketing system should be there but the aka system should be implement but others are not uh, not much uh, align with the policy so the so because of this i think it will fail within one or two months in uh, uh, within one or two months up to now actually we we see that, that's that's that is rising also uh, <clears throat> also the the extension system should also be uh, reform reform the these are the reasons uh, we need to reform our extension uh, existing extension system the reason is the one is globalization we know that uh, the shaping of the agricultural agribusiness system uh, is completely now is different and actually it is shift into high tech uh, 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 high tech and iot systems so therefore we have to tally with uh, this shifting and shaping of agricultural system and the trade trade pressure trade pressure mean uh, the what the market is asking about the uh, product so if we go for export if we go for value addition this kind of uh, quality should be there there is called trade pressure created by the Uh, international market that we have to tally we have to fulfill this requirement so to face the trade pressure so extension system should be uh, reform should be uh, i think we should be uh, should reform to complete different forms and also the traditional system also have uh, expired now training and research system i think you should have learn already different agricultural system training and research system already have uh, uh, now we are telling it is inefficient irrelevant and ineffective and poorly targets therefore uh, new system uh, should be developed uh, to face this uh, to reform the extension system and the need for linkages and partnerships to support agricultural innovations and and the development so so the new linkages development with the processors and innovators technology so these uh, requirements are there and the needs for uh, forestic extension system because the currently what we are experience is uh, government led government uh, authorized authorized extension system actually it is a uh, 100% say actually nearly 90% uh, the public extension system is dominated in sri lanka it should be change it should be a pluralistic the public uh, private civil society ngos all together should be in one platforms and work with the uh, problem solving approaching or without just sending 
information to the uh, farmer. Though this reform we we need. So therefore, <coughs> there are two uh, uh, advisory service system. Is there one is uh, demand driven, second one is market driven. So we know demand driven is what uh, what producers is asking. What uh, what the response of the uh, producer and the what are the the what are the feedback of the producer based on those uh, feedback requirements and input requirements that uh, our advisory system are uh, modified. But the market driven is that we we identify the what is the consumer need, what is the market needs, and the and we we uh, we modify with the with this with this requirement. And the linking up with the stakeholder with the private sector and contracting small farmers uh, guarantee sales harvest like things this is a market uh, market driven advisory service and this is a very last slide uh, uh, so we have to some institutional and operational reforms of extension systems right we know currently we are in uh, main uh, one main public systems but we think you should be should go with Floristic, floristic mean it should be go with uh, private, public, NGO, and civil society uh, engage advisory system. So we should change to public system to floristic system. And the extension, as uh, this is now is considered as a public goods, is a government uh, dominated, but it should be a define, uh, we should define this floristic system, uh, redefine the roles of the private sector, redefine the role of public sector, redefine the role of farmers, redefine the role of uh, researcher, and the all stakeholders should be in the should be with the uh, should be with the task. Otherwise, they will do something they don't know what is the real requirements in the uh, in the market. And the national uh, currently we are saying the entire coverage with the public sector, but uh, we 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 think it should be a Private sector driven and market and uh, funding system should be also there. So what is happening is the public, uh, the government is 100% uh, funding public sector extension, but it should uh, private sector driven market and new funding mechanism should be there. So due to this uh, government involvement, it is uh, centralized uh, up to some level in Sri Lanka is it, it's considered as decentralized due to some local government's engagement in uh, provincial level, but it is uh, all together it's a government. So therefore we can we can we can consider it as a centralized system. So it should be decentralized. So the power should be given to the other areas to the uh, for extension. So reform and the technology focus are there, but uh, <clears throat> the sending just technologies. Uh, is not the real requirement. We should uh, actually we should convert it to the problem solving, uh, demand and market driven system. Right, demand and market driven system should. Uh, if technology is not uh, giving the answer to the problem, the transferring pro technologies uh, is not the answer. So we should problem solving approach, demand and market driven. And the currently it is public funding. But new funding mechanism should be there as I discussed in the earlier. And the, the, now actually we are uh, considering about the agricultural development is currently the, the productions and productions and the agricultural development. But it should be a holistic approach that agricultural developments as well as the rural developments also should be linked with because uh, the currently uh, the 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 extension system is not considering about the rural developments and other other areas of the rural life setting and uh, other socio-economic factors they don't worry they are just worried about the productions of the crops so this should, this uh, this current uh, uh, operational system should be changed to agricultural as well as uh, rural development so these are the reforms we are suggesting uh, actually pays to the uh, challenges in uh, market driven extension. So, uh, with that, actually, uh, I can conclude. If I go through that uh, again, we today we discuss about the market driven agriculture extension. So, yeah, what are the challenges and opportunities? 
so we know in earlier we had the barter system we exchange we, we exchange the food and service and we, they also return food and service if the development community trade arise and after that agribusiness ecosystem came after that agribusiness ecosystems uh, farmers or producers they just uh, they can't just consider about the productions they also have to consider about the processing distribution retailing and wasting uh, all the uh, segments in the value chain so therefore the farmer have the farmer become farmer should have a, with the correct informations and the correct capacity so also the market is asking low price product with high quality so farmer should face this challenge also also the due to market requirement nutrition and ornamental taste uh, just in time these are asking by the producer or value added value added exporter whatever person so also the farmer should fulfill this requirement otherwise it is difficult to uh, take market advantage uh, by the producer or value added right there are a lot of challenges we discuss climate lack of uh, technology rural infrastructure these are the challenges environmental issues in agriculture labor natural disaster right with this challenge uh, the farmer have to sell their products even the agricultural marketing system so there are also some challenges uh, the market size is expanding private sellers are uh, more than 90% direct sales are not available trade facilities are not available like this post harvest versus and the storage trading standardization ict market intelligence these informations and these uh, challenges are there right to face this challenge uh, uh, the market led extension is should have this kind of uh, orientations uh, to do to do the market led extension so analysis and complete understanding about the market interest group creating right the supporting for already established group like things these are the things direct marketing like uh, digital selling website selling uh, capacity building these are things he have to do also he need this kind of uh, extension is also farmer should need uh, this kind of information present and present scenario and land use patterns uh, the, Uh, the high demand in crop in near future market information uh, inputs usage credit and the consumer requirements market networks uh, storage transport this kind of informations he needs so therefore that information if they are but this linkages should be balanced if this linkages is not balanced whatever thing he do will be failed so therefore we always have to consider the balance in the critical linkages so policy support services producers and the organization <coughs> market opportunities and the knowledge support services knowledge support service system mean the entire system should be credit supplier marketing producing all the system the link into agricultural development right so therefore we are suggesting to reform in the extension system due to globalization trade pressure and the expired uh, system we are still following and we need to develop linkages and partnerships and the uh, the extension system should be pluralistic public private and civic right and uh, what today we are actually uh, uh, our public uh, dominated system it should be pluralistic and it should be a task oriented and the decentralized problem solving and new mechanism with funding and the agricultural developments and rural development so this is the think you i have to share with you about uh, market driven agricultural extension and their challenges and opportunities right